I wouldn't have told you. On this a brand new day, a day we've never seen before, a day we'll certainly never see again, it's our desire that we live right, that we walk right, that we talk right, that we treat each other right. A wise man once said, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Ponder that. Of course, we'd be remiss if we failed to acknowledge the more than 6,876 of our brothers and sisters who've given their lives on the battlefields of Afghanistan and Iraq. And as the saber rattling continues, as the threat and the ruminations of war continue, as Bob Marley says, war in the north, war in the south, war in the east, and war in the west. The question remains in our hearts and minds on this a new day. War, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Welcome to the 3G Experience. They say we must fight to keep our freedom, but Lord knows ha, there's got to be a better way. Welcome to the 3G Experience, the gift, the grace, and the glory. And to all our friends online, welcome to you too. Let's see, Ashley Casillas is there. Jaden. Big Dog, Honorable Aaron, Oscar, Oscar J, okay. Welcome to the 3G Experience. What are you listening to? Well, I'll tell you. You're listening to the finest of gospel and inspirational music that you ever run across in a 
scientifically but yet spiritually blend of the music. I know what you normally listen to on this platform, and that's fine. That's fine. But we have four hours of you to take a break from that and listen to this. Especially when you understand that hip-hop started right here. That's right. Yes, it did. Africa Bambata is on our staff. We have some of the finest, finest hip-hop disc jockeys in the world right here. And of course, broadcasting live from the kingdom of Harlem. You got to know that it started here. That yes, it did. Harlem started hip-hop. And then it went across the bridge to the Bronx up there on 1520 Cedric Avenue. So you're in the right place. Sit back, relax. Ease your mind as we start this new day. Here on the 3G Experience, the gift, the grace, and the glory, Brother Bill, your highly trained broadcast specialist, performing my host duties flawlessly, for I bring gravitas to gospel radio. Just kind of feel kind of piano each this morning, huh? <laughs> Listen to the music.
Richard Smallwood playing his composition, Total Praise. Yeah. Well, you know, being a piano player, you know, I, I uh, have an affinity toward piano playing, right? Let's keep the music going here on the 3G Experience, 18 minutes past the hour. <laughs> Pastor Terrence Kennedy and the Reach Week International Mass Choir, live in New York City. Pania Thomas, Ashley Casillas, good morning. You're listening to WHCR 90.3 FM, the voice of Harlem.
Don't touch that dial. Keep it locked on WHCR 90.3 FM, the voice of Harlem. He claims to be the savior. Crucify him.
Special good morning to Brother Al Taylor and the rest of the men out there in the Man Up movement, huh? Out there doing their Thursday morning prayer walk in about eight or nine housing projects across the city. Good morning, Reverend Al. We got a good word from you Sunday afternoon and well needed. Good word. You always need a good word, especially from a good deliverer, huh? Yeah. You make me want to dance Yeah Oh 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 Look at me Look at me Feel like dancing Hey I want to dance You make these bones rejoice I feel like it should be crying hey. you make me want to dance even in the bad time even in the sad time i want to dance hey. when i should be crying you make me want to dance
Dance, dance, dance. When I think about the goodness of the Lord, it makes me want to dance, huh? <laughs> Show you right. Here on the 3G experience, the gift, the grace, and the glory. Brother Bill, your highly trained broadcast specialist, performing my host duties flawlessly, for I bring gravitas to gospel and inspirational radio in New York, America, and with the advent of the internet, truly the universe. Welcome to our friends online that are watching. Let's see who's going to show up this week. Last week we were talking to uh, Hamburg, Germany. We had a uh, uh, a young man on the line from Scotland. So truly, the Lord is blessing us. We have an international platform. Well, it does say, go ye into where? All the world. And trust and believe, beloved, we're there. Good morning to Doc K. Good morning to Linzo. Denny C. Uh. Well, hi, <laughs> Jaden. Good morning. And let's see. And all y'all, good morning. Of course, I say good morning because it's morning here in the Kingdom of Harlem. And as our friend Josh from down in Sydney, Australia, reminds us that, uh, they're eight hours ahead of us, so it's six thirty-eight in New York. Uh, that means it's about uh, you know my fingers. That's right. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon in uh, uh, Sydney, Australia. So, how you doing? <laughs> right back at you. Stand by. At the bottom of the hour, as is our custom, and uh, we're running a little late this morning, but that's because I wanted to dance. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, Black Facts for the Day, a feature heard exclusively on the 3G Experience. As we celebrate Black History Month, you need to know that Black History Day is every day here at WHCR. Every day. That's right. But in 1794, France abolished slavery, and the nation will have a lukewarm commitment to uh, abolition and will, under Napoleon, reestablish slavery in 1802, by the way, uh, along with the reinstitution of the uh, Code Noir. Yeah, that's, uh, well, you know what Noir is. Noir is black, right? Okay, so, and the Code Noir that Napoleon established in 1802, uh, which was, a lot of, was prohibited blacks, mulattoes, and other people of color from entering French colonial territory or, oh God, watch this, intermarrying with whites. Yeah, it was against all, listen, it was against the law. You could lose your head and other things. Uh, but now, look what's happening now. Okay, uh, with this uh, migrant issue. I like to call them refugees rather than mi migrants or escapees, as it were. But uh, uh, France and Sweden, uh, Germany, Belgium, all those companies are now going back to mm -hmm, Code Noir. Yeah, especially that last part about intermarrying with uh, white women. Oh. <laughs> 1913, 
Rosa Parks was born this day in Tuskegee, Alabama. 1968, MPLA begins armed struggle against Portugal in Angola. Now that's that's one you need to look up because that whole Angola thing was uh, and is still uh, a thorn. 1971, National Guard. The National Guard was mobilized to quell rioting in Wilmington, North Carolina. Two persons were killed. The rioting lasted until the 9th. And discontent continues till today, but be that as it may. 1986, a stamp was issued by the U.S. Postal Service in honor of Sojourner Truth. 1996, J.C. Watts becomes the first black selected to respond to the State of the Union address. You know how after the president does the... uh, uh, State of the Union address, yeah. Well, they picked somebody to respond, right, from the opposite opposition party. And the president, being a Democrat, they had a Republican make the response, and that was uh, J.C. Watts. He was the first. Uh, I think there's been there hasn't been one since then, has there? And anyway, those are the black facts. Of course, as I said before, black history. It's not just one month out of the year. It's every day here at WHCR. 90.3 on the FM, right back with more music after these important messages. The world-famous Apollo Theater celebrates and reflects on its place in black history during its annual Open House Weekend, Saturday, February 6th and Sunday, February 7th. On Saturday, February 6th from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m., it's The Arts and Activism, featuring film and music presentations honoring legendary Apollo artists and activists such as James Brown, Nina Simone, and more. Co-hosted by Gary Bird, Bob Slade, and Billy Mitchell. On Sunday, February 7th at 2 p.m., it's the screening of The Black Panthers, Vanguard of the Revolution. This documentary is presented by The Apollo, Firelight Media, Independent Lens 13, and PBS. The Apollo Theater Open House Weekend, February 6th and 7th. All events are free and open to the public. For more information, visit apollotheater.org. Yeah, say it loud at the Open House Weekend. Free events, by the way. Free, gratis, free, okay? Saturday, February 6th and Sunday, February 7th. uh, In celebration of Black History Month, the Apollo's Open House Weekend will showcase the theater's consistent place within black advocacy. And, of course, the Apollo Theater is located at 253 West 125 Street and 25th Street in the Kingdom of Harlem. That's right. And uh, let me give you a little bit more about that uh, Saturday program. It was co-hosted by uh, Imhotep Gary Bird and Open Lines Bob Slade. And the Apollo Theater's tour director, Billy Mitchell. I know Billy Mitchell. A day of film. I know Gary Bird, too. And Bob. Anyway, uh, a day of film and music presentations devoted to honoring legendary Apollo artists such as James Brown, Nina Simone, Bob Marley, Whitney Houston, etc. Yeah, it's going to be nice. I'll be there. And then uh, Sunday, the 7th, the Black Panthers, the vanguard of the revolution. Yeah, that should be very interesting to see about that. Mm-hmm. Apollo Theater. Be there. <laughs> well, let's see, who used to say, wait a minute, somebody used to say, be there or be square. Hmm. I can't recall who that was. Also, we want to remind you that on uh, Saturday, February 13th, I guess we still got time to coordinate yourself, right? Saints of Jesus Christ Church of 1094 Washington Avenue in the Bronx invites you to their annual Black History Heritage Tour. I've been there, and it's a fantastic program, service program. You should really, really, really see the uh, not only just the work that goes into putting this together. Our uh, co-worker, beloved uh, Mary Jefferson, she uh, she's heard on uh, Monday mornings, by the way, uh, puts out a booklet every year that is chock full of black 
information and uh, well where's here it is yeah see this book right here I'm putting it up there to the screen this book thick booklet here uh, is full of black folks who have done things that have made our lives better uh, for example uh, she talks about Muhammad Ali uh, Stuart Orlando Scott. Now, you have no idea who that is, right? Well, Stuart Orlando Scott was an American sportscaster and anchor on ESPN, and most notably on the network's Sports Center. He's well known for his hip hop style and use of catchphrases, which, by the way, was originated by Walt Frazier. No offense, but. It is what it is. Scott was also a regular for the network and its uh, National Basketball Association and National Football Football League coverage. Yeah. In two, uh, 2007, Scott had an appendectomy and they learned that his appendix was cancerous. And the cancer came back in 2013. And uh, he made his transition in 2015 at the age of 49. Used to see him on TV all the time. Anyway. Uh, oh, look at this. See, I didn't know this. See, this, thank you, Sister Mary. Uh, Al Jaffe, ESPN's vice president for talent, hmm, brought Scott to ESPN because they were looking for sportscasters who might appeal to a younger audience, and Scott became one of the few African-American personalities who was not a former professional athlete. Hmm, that's pretty good. So that's why it's important that we uh, uh, go up there and support Sister Mary Jefferson on this uh, Black History Heritage. I mean, every time I pick this book up and open it, I learn something. And for somebody as smart as me uh, to actually admit that you learn something, that's, that's doing something. Hmm. For example, Annie Lee Cooper was an African-American civil rights activist in the 1965 Selma voting rights movement. And she's best known in history for punching <laughs> Selma Sheriff Jim Clark. Okay? Okay. You didn't know that, did you? And in the 2014 film Selma, wow, now look at this, Cooper was portrayed by none other than Miss Weight Watchers herself. Oprah Winfrey. You see, so it's very important that we uh, 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 attend this thing, and uh, I I'll be there, and uh, late, but I'll be there, uh, and get one of those booklets. I still got the booklet. That's where I was just reading from the book. Congratulations, Sister Mary Jefferson and the Saints of Jesus Christ Church. Doing a great job up there. Right back after this important message. The U.S. Justice Department defines sexual assault as any type of sexual contact or behavior that occurs without the consent of the recipient. Forced sexual intercourse, forced sodomy, child molestation, incest, fondling, and attempted rape all fall under this category. Sexual assault isn't 100% preventable, but there are various ways to protect yourself against a random act of violence. Number one, be aware of your surroundings. Number two, if you feel uncomfortable around someone, leave immediately. Number three, travel with others and keep a cell phone nearby to call 911. Number four, walk near the street in a brightly lit area. Number five, carry a noise-making device. If you have been sexually assaulted, Harlem Hospital, located on 137th Street between Lenox and Fifth Avenue, provides medical services and counseling in room 6111, Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. in the Center for Victim Support, or go to www.svfreenyc.org for more information on sexual violence. That happens more frequently than you realize, and someone listening right now has been a victim of sexual violence, sexual assault. You can't let it continue, okay? And uh, as we often say, it's uh, 50 minutes past the hour. If you're in a situation where you're uh, in a home with someone who is assaulting you, then you need to get out now. You're welcome. You need to get out now, okay? Uh, <laughs> 
maybe they're asleep, maybe they're not there yet, whatever. If that man is beating you and treating you badly, if that woman is treating you badly, you need to get out of there right now, okay? And uh, uh, don't kill the temptations have a song. Keep on walking. Don't look back. We were talking about piano music, right? Well, let's keep that going. I like that. You just heard that playing there. That was uh, uh, Brian Wilson doing his uh, rendition. And you never thought Kirk Franklin played the piano, did you? Well, here it is, Kirk Franklin playing the piano. WHCR 90.3 FM, New York.